we are doing another speedometer video. Today, it's gonna be the mechanical speedometer. So on the back of the housing, there's no electronics on the back of the housing. Maybe just a couple bulbs that go in here, a ground from the car. Uh, the speedo connector goes through here. Uh, once you just remove the two uh, screws on the back, they go right here and here. The entire unit comes out. I'm not showing you guys this just because I already took it apart. I already moved the front bezel, uh, the plastic lens, all the rest of it. This is all the same as it is on my other video that shows speedometers. So the 80s speedometer that we took apart, it's all the same stuff. So this odometer, a couple different things you can check. Just take a small screwdriver, uh, put it in the back, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna spin it counterclockwise. Uh, you can see this, the needle jumping. So then the question is, you know, what's not turning through here? So what I did is I put a couple timing marks on here. Uh, this is a mark with a Sharpie. And then this end is a brass gear. On this one, this is a, a metal gear. So you can see if the stuff is moving or not. I just put a little Sharpie mark there. So I'm going to spin it. And you can see this one moving. You might think this one's not moving, but it actually is. It actually tricked me the first time. You have to spin this guy a lot, a lot, a lot to get that brass gear to start moving just a little tiny bit. So you can see we did one full rotation of this axle here and it just barely, I mean, that, I mean, maybe, I don't know, a hundredth of a rotation on this guy. So after you spin this thing about 10 times, you can see this comes up to here. The thing that you want to check on these speedometers is on the opposite side of this gear, way over on this side, you have a factory lead gear. Okay, see how I'm pushing on that? That lead gear you cannot push on and have it spin. Okay, so that's what is connecting the center axle drive to this gear. All the numbers in the middle are just floating. So these numbers are floating. So what's happening is this axle is spinning right here off of this brass gear. It's transferring all that to, the, to this axle tip over here. It goes onto this lead gear, and then this lead gear is what spins the first number of the odometer all the way up to the fifth digit. So this is just a, a five place uh, odometer. There's, it does not go to the hundred thousands. How do we fix that? <clears throat> so the first thing I looked at was to figure out how to remove uh, the front face here. It has the two screws like the other speedometer. And then I was gonna remove the speedometer needle, but I found out, so this also, this has a needle stop. So uh, on these speedometers, you can bend them past the needle stop and then you can twist them off, right? Well, it doesn't hit a stop that the motor does not have a stop. It does not have a stop on that side. And it also does not have a stop on this side. So remember I, I said in the other videos, you cannot, you cannot just simply pry the speedometer needle off because you'll break the motor underneath it. So you, you, you work again, you twist against the internal motor stop on the left and then you twist it to the right. You twist it against the internal motor stop on the right. That's on the newer version. Do not do that on this one. There's no internal motor stop. What we're gonna do, um, we're gonna remove this gear, this lead gear, and install an odometer gear uh, on here made of plastic. The problem is, is you can't get this gear past the back of the face right here because it's contacting. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these two screws and loosen them. We're, we're gonna remove, we're gonna remove them and it's gonna give us just enough room to move the face plate out of the way to get that gear out of there, right? So all I wanna do is just kinda of go like this. Don't, don't let this face hit that motor uh, axle in the middle. I mean, it can, it can touch it. It's gonna give me just enough room right there. So now what I'm gonna do is we are going to press this axle. So we're pressing this axle out of the drive right here. 
I'd recommend maybe what you should do is press the axle out of the drive first before you remo remove the screws to the plate here. It'll just make it a little bit easier. Okay, so from there, we can also kind of pull this gear on this side. We can kind of pull this guy out. Let me give it a little push there. Perfect. And pull it out. We got enough room there now. Okay. So now we are going to take our new gear and we are going to compare the thickness of the new gear to the old gear. This is a new plastic gear from Odometer Gear. Uh, I measured this old gear. It's 4.2 millimeters in thickness. Uh, I called Darren over there and he already ground down, ground this guy down to 4.2 millimeters. So if we look at it on the side, weights are identical. So what we're essentially fixing here is the center of this axle shaft and the center of this axle shaft. So this one's smaller on the new one. So we're going to press that back through this side. Now we are just going to take this guy and tip, tip this one in just like that. And now that I've got the gear in position, at this point I'm actually going to stop and I'm now going to install the faceplate back on. That way this thing stops floating around, mostly for the risk of breaking the speedometer needle motor axle. Okay, we're just going to set that like that for now. And then we're going to get this guy lined up here. Okay, so I can see the axle coming through. Uh, you, you basically won't be able to press this in with your, with your fingers. I was able to remove it by hand, but that's because the gear that was holding it, the old lead gear, the lead gear that failed uh, was loose on that axle shaft, so you could just press the axle right through. Now, the whole point of it is you can't press it, so I'm going to use a tool to press it. Now, make sure that you get it nice and squared up on that brass gear. Don't you know, push right in the center of the axle and just kind of squeeze that guy right through there. Make sure everything stays lined up because you can, uh, you can break this stuff pretty easy. So push right on the center of the axle on the other side. There it goes. Okay, so we went through the gear now it's a little off center, so we're just going to kind of pry that guy. Just let it walk around a little bit like that. And we're going to continue to push the brass gear. Make sure you push that brass gear right in the center. Okay, here we go. Coming through. Make sure now when it starts to come through that it lines up on the worm gear over here. Don't uh, bind it up against the worm gear that it's driving. So we're just going right in the center of that brass gear. And we're just pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. There it is. Now we bottomed out <coughs> this brass gear against the brass bushing in, in, on the inside of that axle right here so there's a brass bushing spacer bushing here then there's the brass gear that brass gear is pressed onto that axle shaft we just pressed this br the uh, axle shaft through here you even see a little piece of plastic that it took with it uh, through the new gear and now we can check it you know i'm putting a little bit of pressure on it we can't spin that gear anymore that's good we're going to reset the odometer here. Okay. We are going to now check to make sure that our odometer spins up. And I can see the 10th mile marker just slightly moving right there. That's perfect. We're at 1.1 miles now. We were at 1.0 before. 
So perfect. We have got a working trip meter. The trip meter and the odometer work off the same gear. So as you spin this guy, it spins a worm gear against here, spins that onto a helical gear over here, spins this worm gear over here onto this gear, spins this new plastic gear that we just installed, and then it spins this trip meter gear over here. And that's how this whole thing works. So if we have a working trip, trip meter now, then the odometer has to work. We are set and we've got this odometer in the 75 working very well. Reinstall this guy back through here. So once those go in, you know, you're lined up. Okay, so we did this entire process without removing the speedometer needle on the mechanical. So don't remove the speedometer needle. Um, we got the screws in, we got this all working. We put a new plastic gear uh, in replacement of the old lead gear. And this is back, this is going back ready. We're gonna uh, recrimp this bezel. I won't even bother to show you guys. So I've got plenty of other videos of our uh, really cool bezel crimping tool. It's right over there. And that is it. So if you have a mechanical speedometer, you need to get it fixed. I just showed you how to fix it. If you don't want to fix it, you can send it to me. Charlie's foreign car, Encinitas, California, send it, put an attention Porsche guy, and we can fix this right up.